Hi, today we are going to learn one very very interesting property of Pascal's triangle and believe me you are definitely going to like it. And what is that property? Pascal's triangle can actually help you in memorizing or recollecting identities of algebra. How it can do that? Before coming to that point, let me write down or mark the row numbers of the Pascal's triangle. This is the row number 0, this is the row number 1, this is the row number 2, this is the row number 3, this row number 0 will actually lead you to the formula of a plus b whole to the power 0. And this row number 1 will lead you to the formula of a plus b whole to the power 1. And this row number 2 will help you in writing down the formula for a plus b whole square. And this row number 3 will help you in writing down the formula of a plus b whole cube, right? Similarly, this row number 4, this is going to help you in memorizing or recollecting the formula of a plus b whole to the power 4. And believe me, using this Pascal's triangle, you can write any formula, any of these identities just like that. How it works? Yes. First, a plus b whole to the power 0. Any number or any variable to the power 0 is what? Yes, it is 1. And what is this element? This is 1, right? And what is a plus b whole to the power 1? a plus b whole to the power 1 is nothing but a plus b. Till here it looks very simple. But let's see the second row of this triangle. The second row of this triangle is 1, then we have 2, and then we have 1, right? The first coefficient, the first element of the row has to be multiplied the maximum powers of the first variable. The maximum power possible over here is 2. So it has to be multiplied by a to the power 2, right? Then you put a plus sign. Then you reduce the power of a by 1. Here we have a square, so here we'll get only a. And after that, a will not appear in this formula. And then we will write the powers of b. Powers of b will be maximum towards the right hand side. So it will be 2 over here, b to the power 2 over here. And then reduce the power of b by 1. That means we have to write only one b over here. And what is this? These ones can actually be removed now because anything multiplied by any number or variable multiplied by 1 is the number or the variable itself. And now what do you get? You actually get the formula of a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2ab plus b square, right? And the formula of a plus b whole cube we can find from the third row of the Pascal's triangle. What is the third row? Third row is 1. First element is 1. Then we have a 3. Then we have one more 3 and then we have a 1. And what we have to do next? Yes, the first term will be accompanied by or multiplied by the maximum powers of A. So maximum power of A will be A cube. Right? Then we have to reduce the power of A by 1. So A square will come over here and then we have to reduce the power again by 1 and then we'll get A over here. Right? And what is next? Next we'll write b. The maximum power of b will be in the last term. So this will be b cube and then we'll have b square and then we'll have b. And now if I add all of them and then if I remove these ones because anything multiplied by 1 or any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself and now we got the formula of a plus b whole cube using the Pascal's triangle. What is the formula? Formula is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Right? And same thing can be done for the power of 4 also. What should be the formula? The formula should be 1 multiplied by a to the power 4, that is a to the power 4, plus second term, that is 4 multiplied by a cube b. Then the third term, that is 6, multiplied by a square 
I have reduced the power of a and I have to increase the power of b that is b square plus 4 this 4 multiplied by a b cube I have reduced the power of a and increased the power of b by 1 plus b to the power 4 right this should be the formula of a plus b whole to the power 4 want to verify it yes we can verify by multiplying a plus b whole square to itself that means doing the square of a plus b whole square what is the a plus b whole square a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square right and if I multiply it we will get a square multiplied by a square that is a to the power 4 plus 2a cube b plus a square b square and now if I multiply all the terms by 2ab I will get 2a cube b plus 4a square b square plus 2ab cube right and now if I multiply by b square I will get a square b square plus 2ab cube plus b to the power 4 and now if I rearrange everything I will get a to the power 4 and now if I see all the terms with a cube b this is one a cube b then we have a cube b that means we get 2 plus 2 4 a cube b and now if I collect all the terms with a square b square here we have 4 a square b square then we have one a square b square over here and then we have one a square b square over here so it is total 6 a square b square and then we have 2 ab cube and 2 ab cube that is 4 ab cube so plus 4 ab cube plus b to the power 4 right and what it is it is exactly the formula of the a plus b whole to the power 4 which we have got using the Pascal's triangle and similarly you can find all other formulas if I write the formula of a plus b whole to the power 5 this will be a to the power 5 plus 5 a to the power 4 b then we'll have plus 10 a cube b square then we'll have plus 10 a square b cube and then we'll have plus 5 a b to the power 4 and then we'll have plus b to the power 5 this will be the formula of a plus b whole to the power 5 right so if you know the Pascal's triangle which is very easy to derive any time and then you can directly write the formula of any power of a plus b right so this is the very interesting use of Pascal's triangle and I think you liked it right and after this I'm going to take few more uh, properties or a few more usage of Pascal's triangle they will also be very interesting so keep watching math smart bye bye till then